Okay, so let's talk about the first episode of Wednesday. This is the new Netflix show that is coming to Netflix later this month. And this is when I got a chance to see one episode of Netflix. Come on, send me the rest of the episodes. But let's talk about this episode, which I think is a very promising one, especially towards the end. But before we get any further into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are in the road to 30,000 subscribers. We just hit 25,000. We just had a giveaway and the giveaway winner has been um, selected. So we are definitely excited to do another one pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe but let's talk about wednesday and everything we saw in this first episode and my thoughts and opinions on where the series is going so first and foremost of course this is without saying that jenna ortega is meant to play wednesday i think she does an amazing job at really portraying wednesday that we know from the tv shows from the cartoons from the movies all of that and it is definitely still in that light that christina ritchie left for us in the movies as well and she is in the show as well we do see her in the first episode and she plays a more or along the lines feeling of this is a character that's looking out for Wednesday. I don't want to get into spoilers, so I won't. Don't worry. I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. So this pretty much is a show that follows Wednesday as they go to another academy. They're pretty much moving from school to school because none of the schools can handle Wednesday and how they are. And we see a little bit of her family interactions at the beginning, although I do feel like I hope to see more of it from the show because it did feel a little bit too crushed and I don't really get the dynamics that they have. And it's pretty much just... A little bit superficial in my opinion but i do like once we get to nevermore um some of the students and all of these interactions that wednesday has with are very interesting but i think it gets more interesting when wednesday ventures out into the town that's close to the school as well and i think those interactions are a little bit better than what we see in the school but more of that once the series is released now, one thing that gets me excited about the show is that it very much so feels like Sabrina the first season until it turned into Riverdale after that. And I do hope it has that feeling of the first season of Sabrina where we're like finding out newer things, mysteries and stuff that's surrounding the town and also the school. And the love interest is kept a little bit lower. I don't want it to really overshadow and be filled more with that drama of it like we saw in Sabrina later down the road. I think that when they did the first season, it was very well balanced but i think that sabrina as it started to get further into the uh, other seasons it went more in a riverdale direction and so we'll see if that happens with wednesday but i hope not but so far this first episode it seems like it's not i think the uh cinematography in the uh, first episode and i'm pretty sure the whole series is great as well i think that the story that they're trying to tell as well is very much so intriguing i will say that the first episode did start off a little slow but i think once we uh, get into the end of the episode it really picks up so I hope the season picks up as well episodes as well always do feel like that I feel because they are trying to establish so much right before we get into the bigger um, reveals and all of that as we get into the show a little bit more so I do hope that we do get more of that as we head into the next episodes I'm not sure exactly how many episodes will be in this season but I do um, like all of the characters that we were introduced here and I would love to see more of them as well and that's what this first episode really does you really get an introduction to a lot of characters pretty fast as we uh, get to the middle part of the episode but we also get a lot of mysteries that start to just sort of like come out of pandora's box that are going to need solving by the end of the episode so i really do see this series really much so being jam-packed as well and that's a good thing but it can be a bad thing depending on how they stick the landing by the ending there is some humor here and there i found myself chuckling at times other people in the auditorium that i watched it in were very much so enjoying it so i do believe that there is something here for everybody with a comedy but i think the best part of it is definitely the drama and the mysteries that are unfolding because there is something lurking in the woods and it is a very interesting uh premise they're setting up here something i wasn't even expecting expecting when I first heard about the show or watched the trailer until I watched the first episode and I was like oh they're going in this direction as well so I very much so did enjoy that so far overall like I said it is definitely worth seeing I think that first episode the first half is a little bit slow in my opinion but once it picks up the pace in the middle part of the episode especially going into the end you're just sitting there like I need to see the next episode so I was a very disappointed when I found out we were just watching one episode and that was it but I'm excited to check it out once it is released on streaming probably I think it's like in two weeks or so so I'm excited to check it out and see what we get but this is definitely a show I can see them building up and up as we go further into newer seasons if it does end up being a hit and I'm excited for it anyways like I said my good in this show is Jenna Ortega's Wednesday I did enjoy some of the 
uh, newer characters were introduced to when she goes to Nevermore, especially the townspeople. I think there's a lot there that can be done. And I also did enjoy the cinematography as well as some of the mysteries and um, peculiar things you'll see as well because it does set up an interesting um, setting and scenario that Wednesday is put into when she goes into Nevermore. The only bad I think was some of the jokes weren't very much so landing like I think they intended them to do and also it felt a little slow at the beginning but I hope that once the other episodes kick in it doesn't feel like that and it was just because they were trying to set up so much but we'll see. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions once you see Wednesday. Are you excited or not? I will have more spoiler thoughts on it as soon as it releases, so stay tuned for that. Today is pretty much just going to be review day because I have a lot of reviews for you, so stay tuned for those. But as I said, we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers where we will do another giveaway, so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We will be doing um, live streams as well. It's just this week was just like all over the place. We were planning to do like two this week, but... They didn't happen also our announcements have been pushed uh due to us not really um, getting everything done yet but stay tuned for those announcements because it's going to be a good one but as always that's going to do it for me let me know your thoughts and opinions on it also let me know what you're going to be watching this weekend what shows and all of that i still have to finish the weird out yankovic movie i have about halfway to go before i finish it and i will have some thoughts on it once i do probably over the weekend so stay tuned for that video and also i will do some more videos on some of the other horror movies i didn't get a chance to talk to about over halloween i like i did the hereditary one i am going back to some of my older videos that weren't done that well especially because i was just recording off of a very cheap camera or sometimes my phone which was not good at the time so i do want to redo a lot of those videos and just re-upload them and better quality all of that stuff so stay tuned for me doing all of those as well as we head into the end of the year and I'm very much so ready, I think, to do my top movies of the year list. I still have a couple of them that I have to watch, so I probably will try to get that out by the end of the month, so stay tuned for that, but I will do a top TV shows as well and some other stuff as well for the end of the year. So stay tuned for those, but as always, that is going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive. Hey, if you're still listening, really appreciate you making it all the way to the end. We will have a lot of videos coming out tomorrow. We've been very much so trying to get our announcement done. So we, we definitely have to get this announcement out pretty soon. And yes, it is definitely something that we were going to announce this past Halloween. And now it's October, I mean, November 3rd. See, I'm all over the place. But today we will be announcing it. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already checked out the video, it probably is already online. Just check out the video for a big announcement. And yeah, let me know what you think. We got a lot of more stuff coming this um, month and we have a festival we're going to so pretty exciting stuff so super excited for all of you to join us and as always stay safe stay positive